Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <clears throat> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Huh. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. You've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgred sent a Vergeldjur. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only, a puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We are going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. He'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, 
Remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf. Come morning, this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jeowulf is right to be cautious. If he shows mercy to Burkret, the people will have reason to trust him. My thinking exactly. And the quicker we act, the more lives we spare. On both sides. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne, and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Eivor! Is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of War. One does war. not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king, and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of Danes. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him.
Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Tilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harald. My father gifted my birthright to Harald without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a barrel of mead. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust, the prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Alrighty, boys, it looks like our long journey is coming to an end. We are actually going to be beginning one of our prestigious first major battles that I think we're going to partake in. As you guys can see, we have military units all over the place. Everybody's kind of gearing up for one really, really great battle that I think is going to ensue. And I think we're ultimately going to be victorious at the end of it. This place... Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! 
We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Ragnar sons are the least of your worries, Burkrit. The Raven clan now sits upon your southern border. And who might you be? Eivor of the Raven clan, here with Sigurd Jarl. We are friends to these men, and foes to you. Well, you've chosen your friends poorly. Now that's to be expected of a low-born Dane. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Huh? Eivor, tell the oh. captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Oh. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Care to test your skill at Orlog? Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbeth. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Mm. Mm. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Leave the king to me! Hold up With me! Forward! Push forward! Look out! Arrows! Shields up! Alrighty, we need to get this gate open, so let's do another charge here and see if we can break right through. Definitely doing some good damage. Obviously, we're gonna get this backed up. We need to be bracing for these arrows that are actually coming in on top of us. Let's actually get back a little bit further, get a good charge in here now, and see if we can't break this bad boy down. I know we're really starting to get some pretty good damage on it, but obviously not a big enough crack yet to call it a day. Alright, let's get back just a little bit further here, get another really good charge in there. As you guys can see, it's almost there. We are doing a really great job, ultimately. Our squad mates are definitely helping us out quite a bit, but we do need just a few more hits. I think we're actually going to be able to break right through this bad boy.
Alrighty here, we do have a gentleman that's actually standing incredibly close to our beloved weapon here. Looks like we have a dude actually cowering behind this, so let's get this guy taken out. Looks like he's still kind of back there hiding about, so we're obviously going to shoot him right in the stomach. Alright, we're going to continue to get rid of these guys. It looks like we might have an archer up there. Obviously, we got a guy over here as well. These guys actually really aren't pushing in on us, which is kind of a good thing, considering that now we can actually get a little bit closer, start beating the living bejesus out of these guys. A couple more gentlemen over here. Let's get a really good heavy attack on them. Obviously going to dodge away from that guy. I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, do you not realize that we are a literal god? Alright, got to get away from that guy for just a moment here. Obviously going to do some pretty good damage on him. Let's actually head over and help these guys out and get rid of these guys real fast. Fortunately, that did not quite work out. However, it's not really going to matter in just a moment when we beat that guy into submission. A couple more archers on, on top. Let's get rid of him. Let's take out this other guy real quick. Looks like our squad mates are actually coming in to help us out, which we greatly appreciate. Let's actually head over to this guy. He looks to be doing quite a bit of damage, and I don't really appreciate it personally. Now we need to get rid of this, so obviously let's get a really good charge in here and see if we can't do quite a bit of good damage. I think most of our squad mates are going to be able to take care of that. I'm actually going to move up so that way we can't try to help out everybody a little bit more over here. Doing some pretty good damage. Obviously got a guy with a shield over here. As you guys can see, we do have those archers that are up there being all pesky and disgusting. So obviously that dude's going to fall off. And well, his time unfortunately was not as long as I think he had hoped. We have quite a bit of military presence over here. I'm actually going to help these guys out on this ram right now. Obviously we need to get this backed up just a little bit. Let's get a really good charge in here real fast. Need a couple more guys to actually jump on this. We'd greatly appreciate it. Alright, we're starting to do some okay damage, but I think we still have a little ways to go before it's going to be time for us to break through this. Let's see if we can't get another really good charge in there real fast. As you guys can see, it's definitely really hurting. Obviously, going to get those shields up here real quick, and we're going to continue to wheel this back. Let's get one more really good hit right on there. I think we're maybe about one or two away. Well, we do have this guy over here. He kind of terrifies me. I don't know about you guys, but let's get this guy brought over real quick. All right here. So it looks like we have a few more guys. Obviously, we have some friendlies that are already over here. I don't know where they were at. I don't feel like we needed to even break through if they were able to do it themselves. actually get all the way over to this guy i'm actually going to help these guys out though i mean there was two of them i don't think they really needed a whole lot of help but at the end of the day it definitely doesn't hurt a couple more gentlemen over here obviously going to run up to these guys and kind of jump into the mix Looks like we do have some gentlemen all the way up here at the very top of this structured area. In just a moment, we're actually going to go say hello to these guys, and I'm actually going to start maybe shooting them from a little bit of range here. As you guys can see, they do have some weak spots. That dude really knows how to dodge, but unfortunately for him, he actually ended up running right into the whole thing.
It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah. That was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chilbert was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Burkert called for help. Enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? While we're continuing to look around, it does appear like we do have some stuff over here. So obviously we're going to slowly but surely kind of check everything to see precisely kind of what's going on. You know, we got a pretty big area over here, so it's in our best interest to read all the documentation, see what we can find out about our enemy. Ultimately, there might be some secrets within, and at the end of the day, if we can find secrets, it's a pretty good day. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. You must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason. I suppose. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go. I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. <laughs> 